so it's been a while since I put one of these videos out. Uh, life has well and truly been in the way for the last six months of my fishing. Uh, it's not been a bad thing, there's been quite a lot going on. But I'm here today at Sandhurst Lake for a social with some of the Nutrates boys. We've got two nights here, absolutely buzzing about it. The weather is really hot and baking. We've got a mini heat wave now rolled in, which isn't ideal going into August, but um, there's been quite a few fish showing. We've done a draw this morning, um, standard watercraft draw. We walked around first, had a little look about, and then names that have a hat. Um, I didn't come out too badly, kind of mid half uh, to bottom half, that kind of area. Uh, but I was lucky enough to get uh, peg number three for those of you who know Sandhurst, which is the car park swim. Controls quite a bit of water, especially with the swims we've left empty around us. Um, so, uh, looking forward to getting the rods out later on this evening. I'm not going to fish today, I've just put some bait out um, which I'll go into a bit of detail with you in a little while and I'm just going to leave it and sit on it for a while so we'll go into a bit more detail about that later on but really buzzing to be out fishing again and filming because it's been so long since I've done it um, produced one of these videos so hopefully it comes out well hopefully there's a few fish to show you as well and I'll catch up with you in a little while to go through the bait that we're using on this session all right, so I've just had a little lead around in the swim. I found a couple of really nice uh, spots out there. Uh, fairly clean, a little bit silty, but nothing to worry about. And the plan for today really is just to get a little bit of bait out there. Still quite early, only about 10 o'clock in the morning. But I don't want any big bits in there. I just want to try and draw the fish in. So the main plan is to go in with a load of grown baity type things, pellet, put a little bit out there, but I'm not going to fish it till this evening. I'm not going to put the rods out till probably just before dark. I want to give it the day just to let the swim rest. There's been people on here at the weekend. Um, it's obviously quiet now because we've got it booked to ourselves but there's still a few of us so I want to put the bait out nice and early and leave it while everyone else gets set up. Hopefully it'll push the fish to my area where there's no lines and fingers crossed we can try and pick one or two off because with this warm weather I think it's going to be a bit difficult. Um, so I'll just go through the bait mix I'm going to be using. As I say no real big items in here as such to start with. Um, in this bucket at the moment, I've just got a few little odds and ends that I had at home in empty packets that I just wanted to tip in here. So in here at the moment is just some 8mm code pellets and some um, code stick mix, um, which we've just got in there. And to that, we're going to add some of the triggerized carpet feed. This is like a, just a ground bait kind of stuff, um, real nice crumb. It lays a real cloudy attraction on the bottom and it's based around the triggerized bait which I have brought some with me, which I might start introducing in 12 minutes later on if we get a few bites. But to start with, I just want that feed in there, but no real big bits, just to get the fish in and get them grubbing around. So I'm going to put a whole bag of that in to start with. I'm going to make up quite a bit because you never know if it's going to kick off or not. Um, so I've got a whole bag of that trigger ice in there to start with. And as you can see, that's a real fine um, ground bait type mix. Loads of little bits and pieces in there smells really good. To that we're going to add some 4mm code pellets, um, not too many of them. So I've already got some bigger pellets in there as well, so we'll just add a few of them in there. I've got the big bag so I like to keep just the, like the pellets and the ground bait and stuff I just like to keep in the van all the time um, just in case you need it. So I buy the big bags and just seal them back up afterwards. To that we're going to add some of the code PVA bag and stick mix. Um, again, this is for your solid bags. I will be using this in my solid bags that I'm going to be fishing over the top of this mix. But it's got all kinds of little bits and pieces in here. Um, so we'll just add that to it. And that's, that's a mix of the trigger ice and the code. So we'll put a bit of that in there as well. Heavy old bags those 5k ones. Especially when you're weak like I am. We'll give it a good mix up, just all the dry ingredients to start with. Get them all nice and mixed together. And you'll see there's just a really fine mix, just a few pellets in there, a couple of different sizes, and just loads of different um, just flavour signals really I want to be giving off without much food there to just to get them in. To that, we're going to mix it all up with some water to get the right consistency to spot out, but also a big old bottle of liquids. I just want as much attraction in this mix as possible. So this is the triggerized liquid boost liquid. Uh, absolutely stinks, a real thick liquid God, absolutely stinks of the trigger ice um, so we're going to put a whole bottle of that in there I know it seems excessive but we just want as much attraction in there as we can 
And then the other liquid we're going to be adding, other than water, is just some of the hemp sludge. Um, this, again, is for a bit for attraction, but also when the fish get down on this stuff, it blobs up oil onto the surface and really flat spots the surface so you can see that something's going on down there um, whatever it might be something's disturbing the bait um, my plan is to go off around to the corner there's a swim around there with no one in it um, from our group at all and i'm going to do a little bit of stalking or try and do some float fishing if the weather gets nice so i will also be able to see my spot from around there so if i start to see little blobules of oil coming up from this stuff i'll know that there should be some fish about so we'll give a good squirt of that in there be easier to take the nozzle off to get a larger amount in there. You can see it's a thick old oily liquid and it hangs around on the bottom for quite a while. So we'll put a bit of that in there. These are only a few pound these. Um, they're designed for PVA bags, coating pellets, all that kind of stuff. It's really good on boilies and that. So you, as I say, if you're just baiting an area that you're not fishing, it'll let off loads of attraction and little oil um, flat spots on the surface so you'll know something's going on. And this is where the hand's gonna get filthy. I'm gonna give it a good old mix around. And then we will have to add some water to this in a little while to get it to the right consistency. So I want it to be quite sloppy to spot out there. And I want it to sink down fairly quickly. So I want kind of like a method kind of mix kind of texture. So yeah, I'll just give this a good mix up and I'll add some water to it. And then I'll show you um, the finished result before we start spotting some out there. All right, so it's all mixed up now together. We've added a bit of water in there and we've got the consistency we're after. This will dry up a little bit more as it starts to really soak in before I put it out. And as you can see, it balls up really nicely. So we can push that into the um, spot and just get it out there and hopefully leave a nice big cloud in the water. It really does cloud up nicely when you put it in um, to the water with a mix of these liquids in there, plus the powders and that that are in the um, ground bait mixes that we've added from Nutribates. So yeah, it's a really nice mix. Hopefully it'll bring some fish in. As I say, I'm not gonna actually fish over it till tonight. I'm gonna put a bit of bait out there now. Not loads, maybe like 10, 15 spots, something like that. And then, uh, yeah, try and go do some float fishing. As I say, it's meant to get sunny. So we'll see if we can get some fish on the surface. It's not gonna be easy with the bird life on here, but we'll give it a go. So we're gonna get some of this out there, uh, spread it out a bit over the area and uh, see if we can draw some fish in and hopefully uh, I'll talk to you later on while we're doing a bit of flight fishing. Alright, so it's now starting to uh, head into the evening now, it's about 5 o'clock. I've been wandering around today, um, there's been a lot of fish up the other end but there's a few guys up there I didn't really want to be getting in their way, uh, they looked like there's the odd chance for a few on the top with this weather but they hadn't quite got into the corner down to the left of me which is free and I had the chance of getting in there and doing a bit of floaters. Um, I did have a little walk around and ping a few mixers out a few times but nothing uh, was really taking it with any gusto so now I come back to my swim. I've uh, been around seeing a few of the boys, had a bit of a chat and a catch up, which has been really nice. So um, now I'm gonna get the rods out. Um, as I say, I uh, didn't put them out today at all in this swim, but I put the bait out first thing when I got here. So um, hopefully a few fish have moved on there. I did see a few nearby topping earlier and rolling, which is a, a good sign. Uh, so yeah, hopefully they've had a little bit of a free food and we're now gonna put out a couple of simple solid bags um, the standard solid bags that I always use and you've seen me tie up in other videos before so um, just some of the code stick mix and some code pellet and a little bit of the code liquid in there all and a mix of hook bags between the three rods so uh, three solid bags out to that spot and we'll just see what tonight brings. Sandhurst is known for being a bit of a uh, evening, night time and early morning kind of water rather than days uh, from, from what I hear. So. Yeah, fingers crossed something will happen and uh, we'll have something to show you soon. for me down here, uh, really pretty uneventful, but 
There's a couple of fish came out first thing this morning at about five, six o'clock to a couple of the boys further around on the lake. So that's a bit promising. Uh, it's looking like that's gonna be the bite time because no one else had anything through the night. Uh, the day times are just absolutely scorching. You can see behind me, it's only like eight o'clock in the morning and the sun is already getting up there. Uh, yesterday was 26 degrees and today's gonna be even hotter. They're talking about possibly in the 30s. And we're in September now, which is absolutely insane. So the fish don't really know what's going on, I don't think. They've just been cruising around and um, launching out all over the place, but not really getting their heads down. So uh, Ziggs would be the one, but they're banned on Sandhurst, I think. And I don't know, I just got the rods out last night about six o'clock odd. Um, and the sun kind of came around to this swim a bit more. So you can see I'm kind of in the shade now. Um, in the car park but about six o'clock the sun came round to this swim and all of a sudden the fish in front of me there was I had hardly seen any like close in my range all day yesterday and then all of a sudden there was fish all over me um, in right close up on the surface and they looked absolutely bang up some floaters but I just got my rods out there all three quite tight and bang on a spot um, and I, I didn't really want to reel them in just before dark um, but I think I probably missed a chance there I probably had an hour or so where I could have got them going on floaters so I think uh, I'll give it another hour or two with my rods out now and then it doesn't look like the day's going to be doing bites in 30 odd degrees so I think I'm going to reel in go around probably have a barbecue with a few of the boys uh, put some bait out again and then this evening try and get them on the top and then get the rods out just before dark and hopefully get them on the spots in time uh, for the morning feeding spell um, because the Baileys did say that a lot of the bites have been late at night and early in the morning, so um, that's probably going to be it again, especially with this weather. So we'll try and get one later on um, on the floaters, and I'll try and film a bit of that for you as well. And then, uh, yeah, I'll uh, let you know how that goes later on. So as you can see, it's uh, pretty much dark now behind me. The sun's setting, uh, going into the second night now, and it's been another really quiet day. Um, it's been a few fish about, much more than there was down this end at uh, the start of yesterday, which is promising. And I've started to have a few uh, bleeps on the left-hand rod, so you never know your luck. A few of the boys have had some real, real big fish out, so um, yeah, it's been a good trip for those guys up um, slightly more down to the other end. Uh, pipes and uh, bailiffs, that kind of area of the lake if you know it. It's been doing some fish. But um, down here in the car park and the secret, this kind of end of the lake, we uh, haven't had anything yet. It's been pretty, pretty hard going. I haven't really got up on the surface so much down here today even. The few that did weren't really interested in mixers. So. Uh, I feel like I've been rushing around and uh, filming bits and pieces and uh, just trying to sort the rods out and got wiped out by a swan just as I was getting things uh, sorted just on dusk so I had to retype all new PVA bags and try and get the rods back out on the spot as the light was fading um, and my spot is straight staring at the sun so as it was dropping uh, it's just an absolute nightmare really but it's just been really nice to be out fishing anyway. Um, Still got tonight, uh, a lot of the fish came early hours of the morning. We've got to be off by nine o'clock, but uh, you never lay your luck, so fingers crossed we'll have a fish to show you soon. All right, so good morning, we're finally off the mark. Uh, caught one last minute. Uh, I've then woken up for a couple of bleats on the middle rod. Uh, so I was just then laying in bed, just thinking about getting up and starting to pack down. And the left hand rod just melted off, uh, got hit the right, um, caught the bloke next door to move line sadly. A <laughs> uh, bit of a muddle, but we managed to get there in the end. We've got one, it's not the biggest, but it's a lovely 16 pound uh, common. Um, just pretty made up to have, uh, have one up for the last couple of days. It's a really lively thing, got his head down in some weed in the end and just came in towards the water he says. Lively one. But yeah, absolutely buzzing to have my first carp from uh, Sandhurst. Shame it wasn't one of the bigger residents, but 
you can't grumble, especially a blank saver at last minute. A lovely looking fish anyway. Let's see if she'll behave. I'm not convinced she's guaranteed. There we go. That. Absolutely made up to save the blank. Uh, you never know, I've flicked the uh, rods back out, they're uh, all sorted, so fingers crossed. There's still another hour or two till we have to be off the lake, so you never know your luck. Uh, must have moved on me in the night, so a couple of the other boys have had one as well through the night, so it's been a good social in the end, really. Quite a few people caught, it's been some big fish out, up to 39 pounds, I think the biggest was. So this certainly doesn't win big as fish, but I don't really care. I might have done if you'd asked me to start on the social, but... <laughs> right. Here we go. Behaving quite well, really. For, uh, the fact she came in fairly easily in some weed. Let's uh, slip her back and uh, better start packing up before uh, we have to leave. Alright, so we're pretty much packed up now. Uh, I've just got the rods laying on the floor as I just sort the last few bits and pieces up. I'm gonna take it to the deadline at nine o'clock where we've got to be off because um, there is the odd fish rolling out there now over the right hand rod but yeah just a little bit about that fish um, as I say um, I got up I'd had a couple of bleeps on the middle rod and I was kind of sat there toying with getting up and having a coffee and that and then the left hand rod which was on a solid bag with a little white um, trigger ice 12 mil pop up in it uh, just ripped off and it just kited around to the right into some weed and it kind of just sat there in the weed and uh, other than going through the uh, chap in the swim next to me, his uh, left hand rod came in pretty easy in the end once he's got his head in the weed as they tend to, they kind of, as long as you can keep them moving through the weed it's not too bad um, the drop off in lines helped dropping off as well, they just come up and come back quite easily so yes, yeah, nice to uh, save the blank but it would have been nice to have one of the bigger ones obviously but um, a couple of other boys managed to get into the mid 30s and uh, one up to 39 I think so I think we've had 10 11 fish between us all which considering the conditions is like a mini heat wave in September and they've just been cruising around I don't think so too bad a result as well so uh, it's been good fun here if you haven't been to Sandhurst I'd definitely recommend it I'll definitely be back it's been good fun the fish have been well spread out as well so bang on for a social because everyone's had a chance there's been fish over pretty much everyone so um, yeah it's been really good uh, this should be a lot more content coming out again. Uh, my life's settled down a little bit more now, getting back into normality and uh, I'll be out fishing a lot more and hopefully filming. I've got plenty of trips planned and new tickets coming up and starting this winter. Uh, a few more videos coming out on bits and pieces uh, in the next couple of weeks as well. So if you haven't already, hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.